Hello, I'm ready to do the part two of a make you own dental teeth setup. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to wax the uh, part two. Uh, remember, the last video is about um, setting the teeth. I'm not using any instrument, I'm using nothing absolutely. Um, I'm just using anything that you can find at your home uh, in order to. Uh, set this uh, denture trying up. Uh, if you happen to um, tune into this channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications so that way you can be notified every time uh, make a video. So let's jump into the part two of denture make you own teeth setup. So, um, in a previous video, you saw how I set this denture up. I kind of like, now was, wasn't worried about how do they look. Right now you can see uh, the setup. Uh, this is slightly uh, even. If you can get your phone, even you can see uh, the vertical dimension. So it should be touching. So. You can find uh, anything to um, do you uh, vertical with. Every tooth should should touch. Should not look anywhere like this uh, or open when you put it on a flat surface. So in that one, um, this is slightly okay. It's not completely hundred percent, but that's enough for the try -in. That's, that's really enough for the try -in. and I think uh, all the teeth are touching. Most of them are touching. So, um, this is, uh, I remember to do this, you, I'm not using pretty much of anything. Um, just uh, gonna have my, I have my little uh, knife over here, and um, I have a, like kind of a little spatula, so, uh, you can use pretty much anything that you can find of um, uh, anything pokey to kind of like clean um, clean your models on clean uh, the wax off of the model because you have to be able to um, pull this out. Remember um, in my other in our first video, I show you that underneath of this wax. Uh, there is, uh, I put a, um, I put a, um, Vaseline on it, something greasy to separate, to be able to separate, uh, this, um, wax off the model. So, um, I have, I lower my, uh, propane torch because the last video also was making too much noise. So, um. I'm warming my little instrument over here to kind of like a smooth that wax up. Um, if you want, if you're serious about this, you can order your um, a set of an instrument offline, you know, like from uh, Amazon or, or eBay, or or you can kind of search it on Google uh, where to get those instruments. Those carving carving um they call carving dental lab instrument is for carving what i'm doing over here is kind of like smoothing things up smoothing my wax up eventually this is yeah uh, I think I might need more lighting over here. I might need more lighting. I think that works better. Right here. So what I'm doing is smoothing the roof. Uh, you know, you don't want anything pokey and the roof on your mouth. Smoothing it out so that way um, it can be slightly um, thin, not 
Tutek. Little by little, you remember, you need your propane torch in order to um, you to heat that wax up. I'm not quite liking my lighting here. I hope you guys be able to see anything of what I'm doing. Let me get some other lighting um, for you guys to be able to see this. Okay, so I put my torch right behind me over here. So you guys doesn't have to bother me. Um, as I was saying, you have to smooth your wax up. You have to smooth it up with the heat. Um, I'm using a torch to heat up my wax. You can see. So, and right now I can start kind of like cleaning my teeth out. Cleaning it out. So you have to be able to see your smile really well um, by cleaning your teeth. Just kind of like carving around it. It's not gonna be pretty. I'm using just a regular carver. I hope you guys can able to see. I'm not liking my lighting, but that's the only thing I have available at the moment to work with. Just carve. All around your centrals. You don't have to worry, that's you, um, that's on your denture, that's on your own presentation, it has to be immaculately nice and pretty. So it is you, you want to look at it, you want to see it, but remember when you're finishing uh, this wax up, you have to make it, I'll show you that in the next also video of how to make it look nice prior to the finalizing this process so i'm just carving carving away all my inner proximals which is the areas next to the other tooth they always next to each other all you do is cleaning cleaning those area up with something pokey it can even be a regular steak knife if you want to use it to clean um, the teeth off. You don't have to do much on the lingual side of it, you know, because this is a side that uh, you don't see. Um, just kind of like continue cleaning my teeth out. Um, I hope my lighting is not interfering with you guys. Actually not liking my lighting. But okay, this is what's gonna happen for now. 
I will try to separate this by using my knife from the model. I could get it wet um, for better way to release because when the model is dry, it takes a little bit of a to get get it off. So my purpose here, I'm cleaning around the um, edges so that way I can pull this denture off the model. This is gonna be a trying. See, but prior to removal, I apply a Vaseline on that model so that way uh, this was can separate easily from this model as you see it's coming apart see this is gonna be a wax trying so uh, I'm going to smooth this out so that way it um, doesn't bother you much. With the wax, you just melt it, melt it in a way on your own desire. This is yours, it's nobody else. You making it for yourself. I'm just kind of like reducing the bulkiness of the wax. Just reducing. And it's smoothing things out so it doesn't bother you when you do your um, wax trying. Remember, you don't have any type of uh, professional tools to do this. You're just doing it with whatever you have. Hold on, I'm using a spatula. You can find those instruments online, wax carving, they have it on Amazon. I think I seen on um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, because there's a lot of people that they do a little small art, so carving tools always available. And the area where those dremels that you I talk about to adjust the dentures, um, and those departments and Home Depot or places like that, they always have that carving tools available in there. So what I'm doing, I just kind of like a heat it, heat um, heat it up. What I'm doing is just, I don't recommend anyone to do it, but only experienced people. Kind of like a smoothing the wax up. This is getting almost ready. for the try. This is the last little carving I doing. I'm not doing much. This is to try. Um, however, you will prefer The how you like it. You can still make your changes in that step. 
of a wax try um any changes can be done in this wax try anything you want to do you can smooth that one with the panty hose you know like panty hoses what the lady used you cut a little piece of it and you can smooth your wax with it. Pony hose, unbelievable, right? But this pony hose can do a lot of miracle when it comes to smoothing wax up. That's, I was told in the school, I used it in the school. I'm no longer using it now because I know it any other ways. But, um, this is the wax drying that you will be trying and you just put it in your mouth, make a, a slightly smile to see if everything looks okay, if everything looks good. This is kind of like dark shade tooth. This is like a 65, really dark. And the wax is already smooth. And you can actually try it. You can try it and see how things are, you know, you won't spend a lot of money. This is uh this will be a denture is gonna be under uh hundred and fifty dollars that you will be making for yourself at home. Under hundred and fifty dollars. So this is uh um part two. Remember you need your torch that you can get uh in a store, you kind of a knife, um and I'm using this little instrument here. Uh, if you want a professional instrument, you can do that with anything, with knife, carving, you know, clean up your teeth with your knife. You can do anything uh, with your pointy, pointy knife. Um, so I'm trying to use everything that you can be able to find uh, your home in order to create your own dentures. Thank you for watching. If you are stopping by checking this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit a notification. Thank you.